OK, we're given this equation to solve where x doesn't equal minus 5. It doesn't equal minus 5, by the way, because if you were to substitute minus 5 into here or here, you'd end up with taking the natural log of 0. And the natural log of 0 doesn't exist, OK? You'd get an error on your calculator. It's an undefined result. So that's the reason why x doesn't equal minus 5. But how do we go about solving this then? Well, being a log equation or natural log equation, whenever you're solving equations with logs in, always make sure you bring them down to two terms. And here we've got three terms. We've got one, two, three terms. So to bring a log equation down to two terms, bring the logs to one side. So I'm going to subtract this term here from both sides. So therefore, what I'm going to have is the natural log then of 2x squared plus 9x minus 5 minus this term here, the natural log of x squared plus 2x minus 15. And that's going to leave me with the 1, equals 1. Now, when I get to this part, when you've got all your logs on one side, you can turn to natural log or log rules, OK? And the rule that you should know is this one, where you have the log or natural log of some value, let's call it A, minus the natural log of some other value, say B. It's identical to the natural log of A over B, OK? So we can apply that here. And that would mean that we therefore have the natural log of 2x squared plus 9x minus 5. And that's divided then by x squared plus 2x minus 15. So that's using then this rule here. We can put that in brackets and it equals 1. Now, OK, this is the second part of the question, and we shouldn't forget what we did in the first part of the question. They asked us to simplify this fraction. And that was obviously done for a reason, to help us out here. So I'm going to take advantage of that. So we've got the natural log, and we saw that this particular fraction reduced down to 2x minus 1 then, divided by x minus 3. So we've created two terms now, which is what we had to do for any log equation. And when you've got it down to two terms, we can now remove this natural log. We can anti-log, OK? And we should know that if we anti-log this, we get that this value, 2x minus 1 over x minus 3, must be equal to the base of the log, which in this case is base e, to the power 1, or just simply e in this case. OK, so now all we need to do is rearrange this for x and give it in terms of e, as we were asked for. So I'd want to multiply both sides by x minus 3, and that gives me 2x minus 1 then equals e bracket x minus 3. I'd expand the bracket and therefore I get 2x minus 1 equals ex minus 3e. Now you don't want to use the calculator at all to do this because we've got to give it in terms of e. I would want to now take away ex from both sides so I bring the x terms to the same side and add 1 to both sides. So if I do that we're going to end up with 2x minus ex equals 1 minus 3e. And now I can factorize this side, pull out x as a common factor, and you've got 2 minus e, and that equals the 1 minus 3e on the other side. And now just divide both sides by 2 minus e to leave you with x equals 1 minus 3e, all divided by 2 minus e. And that's the answer. You might find, though, that 
if you had rearranged this differently you could end up with a different version of this okay and we can get that different version just by timesing top and bottom by minus one if you do that you'll get an equivalent version to this this is identical to well times the top by minus one you get minus one plus three e which would look better if we wrote it as three e minus one all divided by and if you multiply the bottom by minus one you get minus two plus e or e minus two so you've got two versions for x both are identical to one another going to return the same value okay so I hope that's given you some idea then of how to do that particular part of the question.